Oh yeah, you see this? Alright, the turret starts going off, right? So I'm going in for a flank. Boom, check this out. Perfect flank. Oh my god, that's... Okay, but I don't want to reload, so I'm going to go back in, apply pressure with the shotgun. That guy's almost dead, so I want to stop reloading. I don't know how the shotgun works, so I don't know how to make it stop reloading. But I go down here, boom. This guy comes back alive. I'm on 1 HP, I have to run away. Dead. Sup dudes, welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. Let me tell you guys something, you are in for a treat. As you just saw in the last clip that I played for the intro, Bruh, the AK-47 combined with the shotgun melts. So make sure you stick to the very end of the video because I'm going to show you guys the, the exact loadout that I used for this game. Alright, so the game's starting out and I'm just going to show you guys that I picked the loadout. So this is my very first la landing ever and I luckily land right behind someone. So I'm going to get a kill right here and then finish him off. I actually didn't know you could down people at this first and then I died later on. And this was a, just such a quick kill. Um, okay, this one, like, someone was just behind the door and I randomly got a hit. And then look at this. Check this out. Look how quickly it kills people. This AK-47 just melts people. The TTK is way too low. I see people on my right, but I'm just gonna ignore them because I know there's someone ahead of me. And I don't want him to flank me. So, um, my aim, I don't know where it went, but, uh, I guess the AK-47 is so good that it doesn't matter where my aim goes. I could have finished this guy off as well. Alright, let's see what happens next. Okay, whenever I don't cut, that means- Oh, I got a flank on this guy. That was a pretty good aim, I'm not gonna lie. If I do say so, this one was really good aim as well. Basically, every time there's a clip that where I don't cut, there's something that's gonna freaking happen later on, and it's just gonna be a pop-off. Now, look at this aim. And the AK-47 just melts people. It's insane. I don't even know- Oh, this guy surprised me. I mean, I'm watching the recording again, and I got surprised as well. Um, I flanked on this guy. He didn't even know what hit him. Look at this. Alright, so basically I just got, uh, I ran out of bullets for my AK-47, so I had to get a snowmobile to get close to people with my shotgun. And check this part out, oh my god. Shotgun close range inside a house, it's insane. Look at this. Come on, next clip. Let's go. Okay, I checked that bathroom just in case there's someone. Oh, and now check out this clip. It shows exactly how strong this freaking shotgun is. Check this out. Boom, all dead. Yeah, the freaking shotgun and the- oh, there's a bomb. Um, I'm not gonna lie right here, I didn't self-res because I didn't know I could. <laughs> um, basically, the AK-47's long range is so freaking good and pair it with a shotgun for close range, it's just unstoppable. I get so many kills in this game, I have pretty good tracking right there. Uh, this was just an AK just to show you guys how quickly it kills people. Now watch this. The boom, dead. Okay, I die here as well, but, you know. Okay, so this guy I can't shoot, so I have to go down. And look at this. I get two kills with a shotgun somehow. Boom. That's insane, dude. I have no idea how, the sh how, how this shotgun is so freaking good. Combined with the AK-47, it's literally unstoppable. Like, the only time you die is when people come from the side and shoot you. And check out how quickly I'm not this kid. Look, look, look. Boom. Dead. He didn't even- Oh, okay, this is just a hee hee RCXD kill, which is pretty funny. Oh, this place- Okay, now you guys are in for a treat right here. Oh my god. Keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. We're not over yet. Oh yeah, you see this? Alright, the turret starts going off, right? So I'm going in for a flank. Boom, check this out. Perfect flank. Oh my god, that's- Okay, but I don't want to reload, so I'm going to go back in, apply pressure with the shotgun. Boom. That guy's almost dead, so I want to stop reloading. I don't know how the shotgun works, so I don't know how to make it stop reloading. But I go down here. Boom. This guy comes back alive. I'm on 1 HP. I have to run away. Dead. Bro. That was insane, if I do say so myself. Let's go, baby. And yeah, we get the victory. Alright guys, not gonna lie, as soon as I was finished with the editing on the first part of the video, um, the open beta just closed, so I couldn't go into the, back into the game and show you guys the exact loadout that I had, and the exact attachment, but luckily, I streamed, and during my stream, I actually made this loadout, so hey, just a quick plug, if you want to see me do these types of things, like sometimes I make videos, and I'm doing it in the stream, so you can watch it first in the stream, so anyways, the first one, attachment was the agency suppressor, the second one is a 
a 18.2 inch paratrooper. Third one is a field agent grip and the fourth one is fast mag. This one really doesn't matter but you can choose whichever one you like but I like fast mag. And the last one is the handle the warden warden tight grip. As for the shotgun you want to pick the Gallo SA12 and the very first attachment that you want to get is a 21.4 inch paratrooper. And the second attachment that you want is the Stanag 12 round tube. And the third one is no stock so that you can run really quickly. And the fourth one that you want is the drop shot hand grip. And the fifth one that you want is the infantry V choke for the muzzle. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Spy plane available for tasking.